remember standing up on this stage about three or four years ago, um, and what I said at that time was, what a fantastic industry to be part of. The rate of innovation, we've never seen anything like it. And I'm standing up here three or, f three or four years later, and the rate of innovation has increased again. But even better than that, we've had a great crisis. And, and I was taught once, never waste an opportunity of a great crisis, the supply chain crisis. And, and why it was an opportunity was, we've now focused on a more resilient supply chain rather than a cheap supply chain. We're focusing on partnerships, long-term partnerships, and we've got the government interested. Whether the government does anything or not will be a debate for another day, but we've got them interested, so never waste a good crisis. It works good. Um, I should introduce myself. My name is Andy Burney. I work for NXP. I'm one of the engineering managers um, working in automotive processors. I'm also um, country manager for NXP. We've got about 165 employees in the country. That's NXP by numbers. Lots of big numbers up there. 31,000 employees, $11 billion, blah, blah, blah. The big things that I care about are <clears throat> NXP is a big, big company. Semiconductors, lots of them but we're over 50% automotive now. So automotive is really what drives the company. Um, and automotive before was the cash cow that paid for everything else. Complete flip in the last few years. We're the bit that's interesting. We're the bit that's growing. We're the bit that's getting all the investment. It's really interesting. The other thing I care about is the number one in automotive processors. I do enjoy a good fight, and we've had a good fight over the last few years. And it's always nice when you win and you're number one for a while. So we're enjoying that. Two of my colleagues are speaking this afternoon, one next door, one in here. So I want to give a quick uh, plug for the two of um, the pitches there. I've heard a lot already about the software-defined vehicle. Today and also for the last year, um, everybody's grabbed on to the idea of revenue through life, separated software and hardware. All sounds fantastic. Um, so what Robert's going to talk about is that was all the hype. This is how you actually make it happen. Uh, there's a lot of tough engineering you have to do, but this is how to make it happen. And the other presentation next door from Steve is all about software-defined vehicles. Brilliant, sounds great, we're all a big software machine, but you're still a car. You've still got to stop, start and steer, hopefully safely and securely in a car. So as we make this new hardware platform, how do you still make it a car? How do you still have all these real-time safe functions in a box, separated, not interfering with each other. So that's what Steve's talking about next door. And the favourite theme for today is skills. It's really frustrating. Um, I can't get enough. Sorry, very Scottish. We are short of people. So please, if you know of anybody, your cousin, your next door neighbour, your friend, the guy you met in the pub last week, and you think they can help in this industry, or particularly in NXP, please let us know. There's a flyer outside on our, we've got a demo outside of one of our devices, come and see it please. Um, but there's a flyer out there that's got a list of all the open jobs. So um, stop by. Thank you very much for listening.